what are discrete and continuous action spaces? Uh, yeah, so uh, that's a good question. A discrete action space is one at, uh, where, where every turn, uh, every contingency, you, uh, you can express, uh, you, you can uh, take an action from a, from a list. You can think of it like a multiple choice. You have multiple choice lists. You, know? you can, you can ch choose one of a number of, of uh, actions, a discrete, discrete actions. So, for example, you could start driving when, when you start uh, before you start driving. You might choose a destination. Right? That is a discrete choice. I'm going to Italy. I'm going to France. Maybe I'm going to you know Hong Kong. Whatever it is, right? That there's a, a discrete number of places you can go. To. Whereas a continuous action space is when your choice is about a quantity or an amount. If you drive, for example, the amount of pressure that you exert on the gas pedal at any moment. That is a continuous choice. Well, the temperature that you set on a thermostat is also a, a continuous choice, if that makes sense. 